Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about abstract classes. Now, uh, an abstract class is a class that cannot be in, uh, like it cannot. You cannot make an instance of the class, and um, you might be saying, "Why is why do we need this? This is useless." But it has its uses. Some classes are just meant to be base classes for others, and you really don't need to make an instance of it. Most times, sometimes you just need to make a pointer to it, right? And anyways, to make uh, something abstract, we have to have a virtual, we have to have a pure virtual function. We do that by saying a virtual, uh, having a virtual function, so to have a test function and setting equal to zero. So when we have something equal to zero, that means it's a, a, it's a pure virtual function. And that means that you, you cannot make an instance of this class because uh, they have there has been one function that hasn't been initiated, right? And because it hasn't been initiated, then you can't make an instance of the class. And so that's how you make something um, an abstract class. So what are our uses of an abstract class? Well, we know that we can't make an instance of it. So if we were to try and if I include entity. If we tried to say entity and we put e or something like that, we wouldn't. We would get an uh, an error. It's it's they have, it's a pure virtual function, right? And because of that, uh, we cannot make an instance of it. But uses are we can make a pointer to something and make and point it to another object, right? Oh, but another thing is that because we have a pure we have it as a pure we have a virtual function and um it's test then we should override it or yeah we sh so we should put void i don't know if i put yeah so void test and in our cpp file uh we'll say player void player test and we could say test Okay. Uh, so we can make a pointer to it because whenever we make a pointer, we're not actually creating a new instance. We're pointing to um, something else. So we can point to anything that is of entity, but we cannot actually create a new entity type. And uh, you might be saying, okay, this is kind of useless. I'll never use it. But if you really there's a lot of situations when you really wouldn't need to make an uh, instance of a class, right? You don't need to make a pointer to it, right? And uh, some examples of when you use it is uh, you can use it in many instances. Uh, say we're making an array or something like that, and we can make an entity, and uh, we can add in new players. so on and so forth so it have to be a pointer don't forget that but we could point to uh, players we can point to anything that is of the entity type so if we don't explicitly need to declare an instance of that type then we should make it abstract and when it, this ties into object-oriented programming because Say you don't say you have a base class called system or something like that. That in that within that class they have a lot of um secure variables and stuff or secure function that you just don't want people to modify directly, right? Uh if you weren't to make it abstract, if you were to make it a regular class or something, then if you have in if you have in there some like some public functions or whatever that are supposed to be modified by other classes but you uh, you allow them to actually directly modify it then you can run into some problems when you have an abstract class like this if I try to make an instance of it I get an error 
So I know that I'm not supposed to create an instance of a class. So that is another area where object-oriented programming is tied in. In object-oriented programming, it's an easier approach in order to uh, help slim down a uh, code, help down slim down repeating code and and such like that. And it also helps people reading your code or when you relook at code, it helps you know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. So the rules of your code. So anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I know it was very simple, uh, but I hope you find uses for abstract classes. So that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.